In this video, we're going to see how to know if a certain game object is active in hierarchy or not. Here I have this scene a little bit prepared. We have this game object called script that has a script assigned, this script here, just the default script. And we also have this game object called target game object. So the idea is that inside this script, we want to know if this target game object is active in the hierarchy. So to do this, here in the script, we need to define a variable to store the reference of this game object. So public game object target target object, for example. Notice here in the inspector that we can see this variable because I define it as public, but at this moment, there's nothing assigned to it. It means that the variable is currently null. And if we try to use it, we will get a null reference exception. So we need to initialize this variable. There are several ways to do this. In the corner, I leave you a playlist with different methods to find references. But for now, we're just going to take this game object and drag it to this field. And now this game object is stored in this variable. It means we can use it 50% of the job done. So to know if this game object is active in hierarchy, we use this variable. And with the dot operator, we access to a field called active in hierarchy. This is a Boolean variable that indicates the state of the object. So if the game object is active in hierarchy, this is going to be true. And if, the, and if the object is inactive, this is going to be false. So we can do something with that variable. For example, printing some message in the console. Let's define an if statement and use this variable as a condition. Ah. There. And now if the object is active, we can print uh, a message. Log. Log. Yeah, simple enough. If we enter in the play mode, we are seeing this message. The game object is inactive, meaning that we are in this case. But if the state of the game object changes, now the message says the game object is active, meaning that we are in this other case. So that's all for this video. I hope you found it useful and see you next time. Cheers.